K and I am here to show you week three's um, paper kit <laughs> for Kit Conspiracy um, during this month. Now I also wanted to show you guys how I've had these kits organized. Um, wasn't really sure if anybody is even interested, but I have these oversized pockets that I ordered from close to my heart. They are just a hair larger than 12 by 12. Actually, I'm not really sure what size they are. But I wanted to share these with you guys. They are 13 by 13. Woo! That is over 12 by 12, right? Um, and they are called stamp pockets because at one point in time they had these large stamp po uh, stamps this size. Uh, and then they shrunk them down to like 8.5 by 11 and then they kept them all really nice and small. But they do offer these that are sold in a three pack that I think is awesome for um, this type of kit and if you guys are a kitter upper um, people I like the thinness and how it keeps it all nice and thin now I don't have a whole lot of decorations or embellishments within this um, within this little kit but I did want to share that with you guys so that way you guys could see what it was that I had in um, how I was storing these kits for these four weeks because Janet and I did this in advance um, we did it in advance so that I had to have some sort of storage with them so they wouldn't get lost or used or anything like that. Alright, now I do have a bunch of extras within my, um, even some scraps already, within my um, kit that Janet might not have. So I will share these with you at the end so that way you guys don't um, think that, you know, that was part of the kit originally. I just stuck it in there so that way I didn't forget about them. Okay, first up we have two, um, and I might have more extras. I'm not sure. Um, so I have two pieces of paper that are from Close to My Heart. Now this is from the Seaside Collection, the original release. Now they came out with this release again, I want to say in 2020 or, tw or 2019. I can't remember. Um, and they lightened up like all the browns and whatnot. They, they used the lighter color. Back in the day, this dark brown was my favoriteest color in the whole wide world. And so since then, I've had to come up with um, some substitutes. But this one here was originally released in 2014. I have two sheets of it. And um, this is the other side. It's this gorgeous blue polka dot on top of this distressed wood grain. Isn't that gorgeous? Wood grain over wood grain. And then this one here has a bunch of words going on and it is totally distressed as well. So we have two of those to play with. This is a huge kit, you guys. Absolutely large. I also have this glittered rainbow paper. Un, un MK. Totally. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. But I sent one to Janet too to see what she's going to do with it. I'm probably going to ignore it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but it is a glitter piece of paper. It's it's almost like a die cuts with a view paper, but it actually came from Stampin' Up. And I do love this yellow, and I do love this. This piece right here, mm, I, I'm not really sure just yet. It's, yeah, one of those things. So we have that specialty paper. Then we have two sheets of cardstock stickers right here. So one is the alphas. I love, look at that, four different alphas on one sheet. Isn't that amazing? This is my favorite. Tiny word stickers, tiny little labels, just beautiful. Um, this is the Good Day Sunshine Collection by Simple Stories. I bought a ton, a ton of this paper. In fact, I actually sent some to Janet so she could play along with me because my daughter, my oldest daughter said, I want that to be nothing but my album. And I thought, okay, that's fine. But then as she grew up, I started using other papers that were a little bit more mature. So um, I have tons of this paper, you guys. I love this sticker sheet and everything else to go with it. So, And I never did get um, a hold of the uh, die cuts or anything like that. So I'm stoked to have what I do have. All right, then next up is all of the papers by Simple Stories Good Day Sunshine. So I'm not going to keep repeating that it's Simple Stories Good Day Sunshine because I think it's all of them. Seriously. So this one here is the 50-50. It's 12, uh, 12 by 6 papers. 
And then on the other side is another set of 12 by 6 papers. This is going to be awesome if I have a bunch of pocket pages to do. Um, these ones here are the border strips. This one's my favorite, the little paint swatch. Oh my gosh, uh, love it. And then the other side whoo, is beautiful as well. I love this dark wood grain, you guys. That is just absolutely gorgeous. And then here, uh, six by eight uh, cut aparts and then some four by four cut aparts. And then on the other side, same, same, same. Beautiful, it is gorgeous. And then the four by six cut aparts. Oh, that is just awesome. And then the other side, four by six cut aparts. Oh, I love it, you guys. And then here are some horizontal four by six cut aparts. And then the other side, this paper is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then the three by four cut aparts. Like I said, if I have um, any pocket pages to do, this is going to be amazing. Honestly, I love it. I love this one. Oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? So this one looks like a whole bunch of um, stamps, postage, postage stamps. And then the other side is this beautiful wood grain with falling flowers on it. Oh, it looks amazing in camera. <laughs> and then we have viewfinders. Oh my goodness, this is just gorgeous. So we have viewfinders, and then the other side is this beautiful stripe. Oh my stars. I love this, you guys. They need to do a reproduction of this one. I swear, this was their best one ever. Here's this gorgeous one that I love. Oh, and then the other side, I feel like I have two papers. I do, I apologize. The other side is this beautiful polka dot. And then this one. Oh, I love it. Yes, it does have this peachy pink, but truly it is a peachy pink. It's not as vibrant as it looks in the camera. It definitely is that, that pink I like. It's, it's a peachy pink, way, way more bearable. And then I have this beautiful, beautiful flower on the back. This one here just looks like a distressed page with this cute little corner piece already pre-sequenced up and everything. Awesome. And then this awesome rainbow. Yeah. At least it's a little bit more green and blue than it is that big piece like the Stampin' Up! one. But I still be able to work with it. Here's a collage. This one reminds me completely of um, a Costa Vida restaurant that we have here in town. It, they've got a whole wall that looks just like this. I think it says half the stuff on it as well. And then the other side is this beautiful, it's kind of a dingy cloud. Oh yes, you guys can see it. Looks very vintage-y. Very vintage. Yep. Oh, and there is the sheet. The, the, the display sheet, because this was an entire collection that I had. Yep, and then the bonus was the photo overlays. That was also what was in um, my little pouch. So I will show you that in just a minute. Oh, here's a used sticker sheet. That's probably not in Janet's. <laughs> Maybe it is. I'm not sure. And then we also added, because luck, um, luck be our friend, we both had the basic kit as well, which is just the cardstock kit. So like I said, this is absolutely huge kit to play with. So this is that beautiful wood grain with nothing on it. Oh my stars, it is beautiful. With a beautiful ledger paper on the back as well. I love the nice clean little lines and the different colors that you could pull from this ledger paper. I love that. And then we've got green polka dot with this gorgeous green ombre on the back. Red polka dot. Whoop with a red ombre on the back. I love this too. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Then we have blue polka dot with the blue ombre. Yellow polka dots. Yellow ombre. And then this pink polka dot with pink ombre. Yep, that's what we have. So that is our collection for today. And, or, oh no, for this week. And then this week we are also going to be um, using 
inspiration pieces that we have pulled off of um, of Pinterest and what that means is that it is non scrapbooking related but we are going to pull the inspiration from them to create a scrapbook layout so these are the overlays that came with my little kit I'm not sure if Janet has these or not but I just threw them in because they did come with my kit this one here says good day sunshine I'm sorry about the glare because they are acetate pieces so this one just says good day sunshine this one is just some embellishments in the corners summer longest introduction ever camera oh that's beautiful oh that is beautiful okay ocean and last one is backwards beard it says hello there we go. How cool. Then I also had um, some Good Day Sunshine. They're just called Snap Cuts. Snap Cuts. Yep. That is what they are. Like I said, I bought multiples of this to do my daughter's 18 years of um, photos. So I've got, oh, it's double sided. That's cool. Brighter on one side than the other. I'm seeing. Are you guys seeing that? I think it is okay and then this one here says hello in a really cool font you guys see that that's a super cool font maybe like that I don't know anyways okay double-sided again this one is a bunch of words that are random in a diagonal a gorgeous camera I like these cutouts these are really cool polka dot and oh man that's beautiful it's beautiful and then I also have some packaging from a Vicki Booten um, sticker or die cut or something oh it was a sticker sheet <laughs> turn it over and look um, but I loved this and I thought that it went really well with this collection has some of the colors all that stuff so I pulled it out and then same with this one this one came from another sticker sheet same thing I thought it went beautifully with this collection so I pulled that out as well um, I've got scraps from the Seaside Collection by Close to My Heart. I have this scrap right here from the um, Simple Stories. Same with this one here and this piece here because I never throw anything away, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is why I'm very grateful for January's to do all of my um, paper scraps because then I can lose it or, or use it or lose it. Um, at the beginning of the year and then start fresh every year to collect more scraps um, for projects like this or for next January. All right, then I have some of these pockets. What are they called? Snap pockets. Snap cuts, snap pockets. Uh, brown on one side, beautiful print on the other. This one says, hello summer with that gorgeous um, ledger paper. Awesome, beautiful. And then the polka dots and the ombre rainbow awesome sauce you guys all right so that is all that i have for you guys today again we are pulling inspiration off of non-traditional inspiring um scrapbooking stuff which i hope inspires you guys to look outside the box as well so that way um, you guys can see where we're pulling our inspiration from and get inspired by other things that you might have pinned you know for your house or something like that um, I I, in I tend to um, over inspire for the house and then what I don't use move gets moved over to um, scrapbooking inspiration because something inspired me uh, to like it to begin with and um, if I don't get it in my house then I usually end up with it um, on a layout so yeah anyways Thank you so much. I cannot wait to share with you guys what layouts I will be creating with uh, for this for this kit. All right. Thank you.